Hi, welcome to this quick maths video on the equation of a normal. In this video, we're going to look at how to find the equation of a normal to a curve. So here we've got the curve y equals x squared minus x plus 3, and we've been asked to find the equation of the normal to this curve at the point 3, 9. Before you carry on with this video, I'd recommend you watch three other Corbin Maths videos or know how to do them, and that is perpendicular lines, so finding the gradient of perpendicular lines. Second one is differentiation, so in other words, if you've got y equals x squared minus x plus 3, how to differentiate it, so finding dy by dx. And the last one is the equation of a tangent to a curve, and that's a really important one. If you know how to do that, you're almost there in terms of what you need to know for the equation of a normal. And all three of those videos are on corporate math, so you can just have a look at those. So let's have a look at this question. So before you work out the equation of the normal, what I first of all would recommend you do is work out the gradient of the tangent. So let's draw the tangent, and we're going to find dy by dx. We're going to differentiate the y, we're going to get dy by dx, and we're going to put in the x value, and that will tell us the gradient of the tangent. Because once we know the gradient of the tangent, we can find the gradient of the normal really easily. So first of all, dy by dx. So differentiate in dy by dx equals, bring the two down, so 2x, and reduce the power by 1, so that's 2, reduced by 1 will be 1, so we're just going to write 2x. This is then minus x, or minus 1x. When we differentiate, we get minus 1, and differentiating 3 is 0. So dy by dx, the gradient function of this curve, is equal to dy by dx is equal to 2x minus 1. So we've got the point 3, 9, and we want to find the gradient of the tangent at that point 3, 9. So we know that the x is equal to 3 there, so we're going to substitute in the 3 into dy by dx. So x equals 3. And when x equals 3, dy by dx equals 2 times 3 is 6, minus 1 is 5. So the gradient of the tangent at the point 3, 9 is equal to 5, so m equals 5. So now that we know that the gradient of the tangent is equal to 5, we can find the gradient of the normal really easily. So the normal is the line that crosses the tangent at 90 degrees. So we want to find the equation of this normal, this perpendicular line to the tangent passing through the point 3, 9. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to work out the gradient of it first of all. So since they're perpendicular, the gradient of this line is the negative reciprocal. Remember, if the gradient of this one is m, the gradient of this one is equal to minus 1 over m. So it's minus 1 fifth. So we know the gradient of the normal is equal to minus 1 fifth. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the equation of the straight line, y equals mx plus c, because obviously this purple line is a straight line. And we're going to put in that gradient, so we're going to write y equals minus 1 fifth x plus c. Now we need to find the plus c, so we're going to substitute in the point on the line, the 3, 9, into that, and we'll find our plus c, and then we'll find the equation of the normal. So let's do that. So x is equal to 3, and y is equal to 9. So we're going to get 9 equals minus 1 fifth times by 3 plus c. Minus 1 fifth times 3 would be equal to minus 3 fifths. So minus 3 fifths plus c. Adding 3 fifths to both sides will give us 9 and 3 fifths equals c. So we've got our equation of the normal. So it's y equals minus 1 fifth x plus 9 and 3 fifths. You could write that as decimal, so it could be y equals minus 0.2x plus 9.6, but that's it. So to find the equation of a normal to a curve, first of all, differentiate to find dy by dx. Substitute in the x value, and that'll tell you the gradient of the tangent. Then do the negative reciprocal of that to find the gradient of the normal. Then substitute that into y equals mx plus c. And finally, put in the point that you know into that y equals mx plus c to find the c, and that'll tell you then the equation of the normal. Let's have a look at another example now. So let's have a look at our second example. So we've got a curve that's got the equation y equals 2x cubed subtract 4x squared plus 1. And we've been asked to work out the equation of the normal to that curve at the point 1 minus 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate it first of all. So we're going to find dy by dx. So bring in the 3 down. So 2 times 3 is 6x. And reduce the power by 1 squared. Subtract. Uh, so we've got minus 4x squared. So bring in the 2 down. So that'll be minus 8x. And reducing the power by 1. That's just minus 8x. And then differentiate 1 will be 0. So dy by dx is equal to 6x squared. Subtract 8x. So if we substitute in the 1, we're going to find the gradient of the tangent. So whenever x equals 1, dy by dx will equal 1 squared is 1, times 6 is 6, and then subtract 8 times 1 is 8, and 6 subtract 8 is equal to negative 2. So the gradient of the, the tangent is equal to negative 2. Now we know the gradient of the tangent is equal to negative 2. The gradient of the normal...
will be equal to the negative reciprocal of this. So because it's negative, then it's going to become positive, and it's going to be 1 over, so it's going to be equal to a half. So the gradient of the normal is equal to a half. So we're going to use y equals mx plus c, and we're going to put in that half as the gradient, because we know it's a straight line, the equation of the normal. So it's going to be y equals a half x plus c. And then finally, we're just going to substitute in the points 1, negative 1, into here, and we'll find our c. And once we've done that, then that'll tell us the equation of the normal. So we've got our x is equal to 1 and our y is equal to negative 1. So negative 1 equals a half times 1. Well, that's going to be a half plus c. We want to find c on its own, so we're going to subtract a half from both sides. So it's going to be subtracting a half from both sides. So it's going to be minus 1 and a half equals c. So that means that our equation of our normal will be equal to y equals a half x subtract 1 and a half. We could write it as y equals a half x subtract 3 over 2. We could make it a top heavy fraction. Or we could write it as a decimal y equals 0.5x subtract 1.5. And that's it. So to find the equation of a normal, we differentiate to find the gradient function of the curve. We put in the x value of the point that we want to find the equation of the normal through. So we'd put, in this case, we put in 3. We then find that tell us the gradient of the tangent. We then do the negative reciprocal of that to find the, the gradient of the normal. And then you put that gradient into y equals mx plus c. And along with the point that you're trying to find the normal through. And then that will tell you plus c. And then you'll find the equation of the normal. And that's it.